And now, everyone, I'm pleased to bring you a brand new Saber experience uh, that will revolutionize the hobby, and that is Saber Apps. Uh, Saber Apps is basically a way to uh, load completely independent apps on the Saber uh, from the microSD card. And this means that, that completely uh, different applications that are customizable, completely different from the actual um, igniter or main running firmware are possible. Um, and so today I'm going to go over how these apps work, uh, how to get to them, and then I'm going to go over some of the apps. Okay, so the uh, first thing we want to go over is how to get to the apps. So when you're in the uh, main, you know, igniter, program, and once you get into the uh, idle mode, simply point the saber down and hold the aux button. Saber apps. Now this loads into the Saber Apps menu. Uh, so now once in the Saber Apps menu, you can scroll through all the apps that are loaded. Uh, for Igniter 2, I've, I've basically put five apps on here. Um, and now we'll go through each of these apps. Okay, the first app um, on the, uh, in the Saber Apps for Igniter 2 uh, is the color editor. color editor. And so the color editor uh, is basically the same color editor that was released in R5 uh, sort of bundled with the main package uh, where you had to hold the aux button and pull the kill key to get to it. Uh, now it's accessible directly through the Saber Apps menu. Uh, I won't really go over it. Color so editor. to say you push Let's the main button. Hold the aux button at any time during the menu to hear the instructions. Uh, so you push the main button to get into it. Um, you know, you can push the main button to turn on the color and do your editing. Hold it down to save for that font. Go through, hit the aux. Yeah, go through all the fonts, do all the editing. Uh, but the last thing I want to say is now, uh, with as with any app, um, I built in the functionality so whenever uh, this the whatever app is running is in the sort of idle state, the pointing it down and holding the aux button will always go back to the saber app. Saber apps. So you're back in the Saber Apps menu. The next app um, in that's released with Igniter 2 is a motion editor. Color at motion editor. So let's click the main button to get into this. Motion editor. Press and hold the aux button at any time to hear the instruction. And so the motion editor, um, now it's in the idle mode of the motion editor. And this is basically like a color editor, except for it, it edits all your motion uh, parameters on the fly. Uh, this allows you to, uh, you know, set up the sensitivity without needing the computer. It just saves it all back to the SD card on the fly. Um, and we will go over how to use that right now. It's also important to note, uh, to make this possible, I did move the all the motion-related uh, parameters, the five, um, which are basically the two related to swing slash, the two related to the... Um, the dual face motion and then the new one for the clash. All those are moved into the master, so they're only settable at the master level. But I believe this makes sense because uh, those settings are for the hardware and the hardware doesn't change per font. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn it on. Now we're in the motion editing mode. And you can see all the motions uh, still make the motions sounds just like they would in the main app. So the dual face does, the swings. Uh, swings do, the slashes do, it gives me the uh, amount of adjustability. However, blaster blocks and anything that's not in motion is gone. And what it is, if I push the aux button, I edit the parameter that I'm currently on. Uh, and then and that will increase the value. So right now I'm on the swing threshold. 100. So now it's 100. So now you can see it takes more to make a swing go off. See, it takes a little more now. And then I could keep going up. See, it trigger as well. And let's go back around. Two fifty-zero. So now it's on thirty because it went to zero and back around. You know, two fifty-five then back around to zero. Now it went up to thirty. And now you can see I can barely move it, and it makes a swing. Once you're done editing that current parameter and you want to edit the next parameter, uh, you can simply hold the aux button and do any of the actions. So if you hold the aux and do a clash, a swing or a dual phase, uh, it'll go to the next editing parameter. So let's do that. 
Slash threshold. So there's you can see a swing does it. Also, clash threshold. Clash does it. Um, and so now we're on the uh, clash threshold. So let's edit this. One hundred. One fifty. So I'm at one fifty now. So you can see it, it takes a little bit of force now to make it go off. Two hundred. See it takes a little bit now. Now zero, you can pretty much squeeze it. So that gives you a lot of uh, editing capabilities here. Uh, now say we're done editing everything, uh, we want to save these to disk. So you just simply hold the main button down, uh, it retracts in, uh, saves it and goes back to the saver apps. Now if for some reason you change all the settings, you didn't want to change, the, uh, you didn't want them to actually save to disk, you can hold the aux button while holding down the main button. Uh, and that'll go back to saver apps and turn it off. It just won't save them to disk. Okay, the next app I want to go over is another brand new app. And this is a first for the saver industry. Uh, that's I've, in, I've included an entire game that works for saver. And I call it Saber Says. Saber Says. So let's go into the game. Saber Says. Okay, so Saber Says is a... Uh, it's basically like the classic memory game where there's four colored pads that light up um, and as you repeat the sequence that's generated, a longer and longer sequence goes until you, uh, it's impossible to remember anymore. Um, well, instead of a pad in colors, what we have is saber sounds in a sequence are generated and the sounds have to be copied by doing the action corresponding to them. So let's start. So we hear a swing. Swing is in. Now we have a swing and a blast. because after I hit the blast, I flashed the saber. And that was an accident, but uh, as you can see, this is how the game sort of goes. Um, let's try it one more time. So there's a clash. Flash and mock up. And so let's, me let's mess up on purpose. You can see that basically whenever you get it wrong, you hear the loser sound and then it tells you a score. Um, also, if you get tired of playing, so I'm tired of I'm tired of playing, so I can just hold the main button, turn it off, um, and I won't hear the loser sound, but it will tell me what I scored. Um, and this is just a fun game uh, to play by yourself, but also you could uh, now make the saber an experience with a group of friends because you could you know challenge a group of friends, go around. Uh, and each time around, maybe uh, the person with the lowest score is out, and then the last person re remaining wins. Uh, but this is the first time the saber becomes a truly uh, interactive experience with friends. Now finally, uh, if all those awesome apps weren't enough, I've given you two more apps uh, that are related, and these are... Spark Color. The entire Spark Color firmware and Spark Color Set uh, Color Editor as part of the Igniter package. So now when you're buying Igniter, you're actually buying Igniter and Spark Color. Um, and I didn't bother putting Spark on here because I figured that was basic enough that um, with these two you would get the, the gamut. Uh, but what this allows, let's go ahead and start it. So now we're booting this. This is basically a Spark Color Saber. Uh, so you can see we're uh, using the same like normal. Phase though now, you know, just goes through all the color sets. And so to make this possible, um, I did refactor some of the configs. So the Spark colors have different config names. Um, and now how it works is basically your first six fonts uh, are your, your igniter and your Spark color fonts. Uh, so there'll be Spark uh, color and there'll be igniter configs in those directories. Uh, and I'll go more over the improvements in Spark uh, Color for Spark, basically for Spark Color 2, because this is the Spark Color 2 for the Spark Color 2 board. And we'll be going over that when I actually release it some more. And of course, lastly, uh, you know, holding the aux button and pointing it down, that goes back to my apps. Color, let see, Spark, Spark, Color Set Editor. So I also have the Spark Color Set Editor. Um, and again, this hasn't changed from the the original Spark Color release, it's just like
the ability to edit the color set colors, which are different from your igniter colors that are stored on your faults. Um, with all these apps, so now you can see you have a, a truly full experience uh, by buying just one amazing board, the Igniter 2. <laughs>